Do you know that taking too much vitamin C can be harmful if you have kidney disease? We all know that vitamin C offers many health benefits, like it helps boost the immune system, but too much of it can increase oxalate levels in the body. This can lead to kidney stone formation, especially for people with a history of kidney stones or existing kidney disease. This is just one example of a vitamin you should avoid or limit if you have kidney disease. In this video, we'll discuss other seemingly beneficial vitamins that can be risky for your health if you have kidney disease and explain why. We'll also learn about the correct way to take your supplements and other things you should consider if you have kidney disease. So, let's begin. The first one on our list is vitamin C. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is a water-soluble vitamin and an essential nutrient that our bodies need for many important functions. It has antioxidant properties, which help protect against cell damage, support the immune system, and promote wound healing. However, when it comes to kidney disease, vitamin C can be both beneficial and harmful depending on the amount consumed. For people with healthy kidneys, taking vitamin C is not a major concern as healthy kidneys can easily excrete excess amounts via urine. However, if you have kidney disease, or if normal kidney function is impaired, high doses of vitamin C can increase your risk of having kidney stones. This is because excess amounts of vitamin C are metabolized into oxalate, which can combine with calcium to form kidney stones. In fact, research has found that taking more than 1,000 mg of vitamin C per day can increase the risk of developing a first kidney stone by as much as 41%. So, what does this mean for you or other kidney patients? If you have CKD or have a history of kidney stones, limit your daily vitamin C intake to 60 to 90 milligrams per day. This amount is enough to meet the recommended daily intake and might even be beneficial for your kidneys. To limit your intake, consume foods that are naturally rich in vitamin C, such as citrus fruits, broccoli, and bell peppers instead of supplements, as they are least likely to cause overdosage. Plus, if you're already taking vitamin C supplements, Keep an eye on other vitamin C-rich foods you're consuming. This is to ensure that the combined vitamin C you're consuming doesn't exceed the recommended intake. Be aware of potassium content in different citrus fruits and juices if your doctor has told you to limit potassium. Number two, vitamin A. Vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin. It offers many benefits for the body. For example, it's crucial to maintain a healthy vision, immune system function, and normal cell growth. However, if you have kidney disease, it can be toxic in high amounts. This is because, as told before, it is a fat-soluble vitamin, meaning it is stored in the tissues of your body rather than being easily excreted. So, unlike water-soluble vitamins that are easily excreted through urine when consumed in excess, vitamin A is stored in the liver and fat tissues. There are two important things to keep in mind while taking vitamin A. First, if you have CKD, your kidneys might not be able to filter vitamins out of the body. In that case, even taking vitamin A supplements is not recommended, even if the supplement is providing the daily recommended intake of vitamin A. Because if you keep taking those supplements with damaged kidneys, the amount of vitamins might keep increasing in your blood, leading to vitamin A toxicity sooner or later. Second, not taking vitamin A at all is also not recommended. Vitamin A is a powerful antioxidant and may even help repair damaged kidneys. So what should you do? Take supplements only as per the advice of your doctor. Your doctor might run a few tests to check your current vitamin A levels and propose the correct dosage of vitamin A supplement if needed. But it's more likely that your doctor tells you to prefer vitamin A rich foods over supplements to cover your deficiency if it exists. The recommended daily intake of vitamin A for healthy adults is between 700 to 900 micrograms. To get that amount, you can eat carrots, red bell peppers, and butternut squash in moderate amounts. These foods are rich in beta-carotene, which your body can convert into vitamin A according to your needs. Number three, vitamin E. Vitamin E2 is a fat-soluble vitamin. It is a powerful antioxidant that fights against the damage caused by free radicals, preventing age-related damage to your organs. In fact, several studies have demonstrated vitamin E's potential against CKD development and relieving its symptoms. But if you have kidney disease, similar to other fat-soluble vitamins, 
vitamin E may not be easily excreted from the body and can build up in your liver and fatty tissues. Signs of vitamin E toxicity include fatigue, dizziness, nausea, blurred vision, and sometimes cramps and diarrhea. High doses of vitamin E supplements can even increase the risk of bleeding, so it's really important to not take it too much, especially if you have CKD, bleeding disorders, or are taking blood thinners. Now you might be thinking how much vitamin A is okay for you? The recommended daily intake of vitamin E for most healthy adults is 15 milligrams per day. With kidney disease, this can be too much for your kidneys to process if your kidneys aren't working well. Generally, up to 10 milligrams per day might be okay, but it's best to consult your doctor, get your vitamin E levels checked, and get personalized recommendations and dosage according to your individual health status. Avoid vitamin E supplements unless advised by your doctor. Consider fatty fish, avocados, and olive oil to fulfill your daily needs for vitamin E. Number four, vitamin D. Vitamin D is an essential vitamin. It helps maintain healthy bones and support the function of our immune system. Normally, the kidneys convert vitamin D into its active form, calciferol, which allows it to be easily absorbed in the body and helps regulate calcium and phosphorus levels in the blood. However, if kidney function is impaired, this conversion process is disturbed, which can potentially lead to an imbalance of these minerals. Excessive intake of vitamin D, especially through supplements, can lead to a condition called hypercalcemia, which is basically high levels of calcium in the blood. Hypercalcemia can cause nausea, vomiting, weakness, and sometimes even serious complications like heart arrhythmias and calcification of blood vessels and tissues, which can further strain your kidneys and other organs. Therefore, monitor your vitamin D intake if you have kidney disease. The recommended daily intake of vitamin D for healthy adults generally ranges from 600 to 800 international units, but this can be too much depending on your kidney's health. For that, consult with a healthcare provider to determine the appropriate dosage according to your individual health needs. To limit your intake, avoid supplements, and try to get vitamin D from natural sources through sunlight exposure and foods like fatty fish, fortified dairy products, and egg yolk. This might also help you maintain a healthy balance of other important minerals in your body. Number five, vitamin K. Vitamin K is another fat-soluble vitamin. It exists in two main forms. One is vitamin K1, or philoquinone, which is typically found in leafy greens. Second is vitamin K2, or menaquinone, which is abundant in animal products and fermented foods. Vitamin K plays a crucial role in blood clotting and bone health. It also helps regulate calcium levels in the body, which is essential for maintaining strong bones. However, similar to other fat-soluble vitamins, excess intake of vitamin K can be harmful to you if you have kidney disease. Excess amounts of vitamin K can also interfere with the effectiveness of certain blood-thinning medications, which are commonly prescribed to individuals with kidney disease, heart disease, and other conditions. So avoid taking too much vitamin K if you have chronic kidney disease. The recommended daily intake of vitamin K for most adults is 90 to 120 micrograms, but this figure is primarily based on vitamin K1, which is involved in blood clotting. Vitamin K2 is more commonly found in animal products and fermented foods, which kidney patients usually need to limit due to their protein-rich content. So they are very likely to develop K2 deficiency. Considering this fact, many experts recommend taking 10 to 45 micrograms of vitamin K2. There's no upper limit specifically defined for kidney patients, so it's best to talk to your doctor and get the appropriate dosage depending on your health condition. After discussing the potential risks and recommendations for vitamins A, E, D, and K for you, if you have kidney disease, now let's learn about some vitamins that you can take to support kidney health. One of them is B-complex. B vitamins are a group of water-soluble vitamins that play essential roles in cellular metabolism, energy production, and overall health. For individuals with kidney disease, having adequate levels of B vitamins is important as they support various bodily functions that can be compromised by impaired kidney function. Moreover, this is important due to their water-soluble nature, which means they are not stored in the body and need regular replenishment. This is particularly important for those undergoing dialysis, which can result in the loss of these essential vitamins. 
Let's discuss how these B vitamins can be beneficial for you if you have kidney disease. Number 1. B1. Thiamine. Thiamine is crucial for converting carbohydrates into energy and plays a vital role in nerve, muscle, and heart function. For kidney disease patients, thiamine supplementation can help prevent deficiencies that may result from dietary restrictions or dialysis treatments. Number 2. B2. Riboflavin. Riboflavin is important for energy production and cellular function. It also acts as an antioxidant, protecting cells from oxidative stress. Individuals with kidney disease might benefit from riboflavin to enhance overall energy levels and prevent oxidative damage in the kidneys. You can get it from dairy products like milk, yogurt, cheese, eggs, spinach, kale, and fortified cereals. Number 3. B3. Niacin. Niacin helps in converting food into energy and is vital for DNA repair and stress responses. Niacin may also have a role in lowering cholesterol levels, which is beneficial for kidney disease patients who often have cardiovascular complications. You can get it from chicken, tuna, salmon, beef, pork, whole grains, and fortified cereals. Number 4. B6. Pyridoxine. Pyridoxine is crucial for protein metabolism, neurotransmitter synthesis, and immune function. It helps manage homocysteine levels, which is important for cardiovascular health and is a significant concern for those with kidney disease. You can get it from chicken, salmon, tuna, starchy vegetables like potatoes, sweet potatoes, non-citrus fruits like bananas, avocados, and fortified cereals. Number 5. B9. Folate. Folate is essential for DNA synthesis, cell division, and red blood cell formation. For kidney disease patients, folate supplementation can help prevent anemia, a common issue due to reduced erythropoietin production by the kidneys. You can get it from leafy green vegetables, beans, lentils, oranges, grapefruits, fortified cereals, bread, liver, and other organ meats. Number 6. B12. Cobalamin. Vitamin B12 is crucial for nerve function, DNA synthesis, and red blood cell formation. Anemia is a common complication in kidney disease, and B12 supplementation can help manage this condition by supporting healthy red blood cell production. You can get it from meat, poultry, fish, eggs, cheese, yogurt, fortified cereals, and plant-based milk alternatives like soy and almond milk. Please note that depending on the severity of kidney disease, you might need to limit or avoid many food sources containing B vitamins. In that case, your doctor might recommend vitamin B supplements, along with a vitamin C supplement. Do you know why? Let's find out. Vitamin C. While we mentioned earlier that high doses of vitamin C should be avoided due to the risk of oxalate stone formation, getting it in moderate amounts is very important. This is because vitamin C can provide valuable support for kidney disease through its antioxidant properties, which help prevent or reduce cellular damage in the kidneys. This is crucial because oxidative stress is a significant contributor to the progression of kidney disease. Additionally, vitamin C supports the immune system, aiding in the defense against infections that kidney disease patients are more susceptible to. Its role in collagen synthesis promotes wound healing, addressing a common issue in individuals with impaired kidney function. Omega-3 fatty acids. Although not a vitamin, omega-3 fatty acids are worth mentioning. They are essential fats that offer numerous health benefits, particularly for kidney disease patients. They are known for their anti-inflammatory properties, which can help reduce inflammation in the body and alleviate symptoms associated with chronic kidney disease. Incorporating omega-3 fatty acids into your diet can also help lower blood pressure, improve cholesterol levels, and support overall kidney function and health. Sources of omega-3 fatty acids include fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines, as well as plant-based sources like flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. These healthy fats might also be effective for regulating blood pressure and improving overall heart health, both of which are crucial and often more difficult to manage for a person with kidney problems. Iron and Zinc While they are also not vitamins, but are essential minerals that are often included in kidney health recommendations. Iron is essential for the production of hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen throughout the body. In kidney disease, 
reduced production of erythropoietin, a hormone that stimulates red blood cell production, often leads to anemia. Iron supplementation or consumption of iron-rich foods, such as lean meats, poultry, fish, and fortified cereals, can help alleviate anemia and improve your overall energy levels and quality of life. On the other hand, zinc is involved in numerous metabolic processes, including immune function, wound healing, and protein synthesis. Individuals with kidney disease may have lower zinc levels due to reduced intake, altered metabolism, or losses during dialysis. Zinc supplementation or dietary sources such as lean meats, seafood, dairy products, nuts, and whole grains can help support immune function, enhance wound healing, and maintain overall health. Be sure to talk to your doctor before considering any supplements or food sources containing these vitamins and minerals. This is crucial to avoid any potential side effects or interactions with any medications you might be taking. And most importantly, be sure to check out these videos to help improve your kidney health. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with everyone you care about. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.